Welcome to Battle Streams of Middle Earth and welcome to Damien's Hobby Vlog 35. Oh yes, it's time to follow me once more on my journey as I try and paint a load of stuff throughout February for, as you can see down there, the Warhammer World GT. If you are new here, welcome to Battle Streams of Middle Earth. The point of, the, uh, of our channel, Battle Streams of Middle Earth, is to help you... Oh clear your backlog. Oh yes, we um, we set this up just before Covid as a way of uh, bringing people together to um, to kind of paint models for the joy of it, to help to help rediscover the true love of painting um, painting their models. Not just painting for tournaments, but for painting just for, just for the fun of it. And we, and we try to help you clear your backlog on this channel in two ways. The first of them is these hobby vlogs where I chart my own um, hobby journey, I, I monitor my collection, I try and reduce my backlog every year and kind of monitor what I'm, what I'm painting in the hope that maybe it inspires people out there to do it. Uh, and the other way we do it is on our, um, our regular live stream. So every two or three weeks, myself and Steve Crow do a live stream where we look through the Dixie part work about games in Middle Earth, and then we all have a hot community hangout. Um, so like for about four hours um, on a weekend every few weeks, and we hang out, and we normally get like 50, 60 people come and join us, and everyone paints the same thing. Um, so what have we got coming up? We've got Wag Riders. Um, coming up and then in the future, uh, in the next few streams we've got things like Legolas and the Witch King and so everyone will be joining the stream and painting Legolas just for the fun of it and it's a, it's a load of fun so if you're interested in that you can check out our live tab, subscribe to the channel and check out our community post and we'll tell you when the next live stream is which is very exciting but that is not what is exciting about this day, oh no my friends this day, um, we at the start of February, we have a whole new month of hobby ahead of us. And I say at the start of February, uh, the plan for this vlog was to be the start of February, but it is no longer the start of February. So, what happened in my last vlog, um, I was painting up a bunch of Mordor Orcs for the, um, for the uh, SBG issue 15 photo shoot, and I got those done, which I was delighted. The photo shoot was on the 27th and the 28th of um, January. And then the plan was to come back and paint some more Mordor Orcs for the GT. And uh, the GT is on the 24th and the 25th of Feb, which gives me four full weeks to do it. So I was like, um, I was like, that's more than enough time. Four weeks um, is, is more than enough time to, um, to paint some Mordor Orcs. But alas, it is no longer the 29th of January. Um, time has passed, and it, as as sometimes happens when you have a big when you have a big hobby push and then a big hobby weekend like we did for the photo shoot, I then tend to kind of decompress a bit, um, spend a bit more time with family or something, and relax a bit. And I'm just a bit sleepy, and so basically um, I haven't done a lot for nearly two weeks, and it's currently uh, Wednesday, the seventh of February. So um, we're now a kind of week and a half into those those four weeks. Um, which suddenly makes things a little more nervous. So um, to be absolutely clear, the GT, I'll be leaving for the GT on Friday the 23rd. So I've got, um, well, I've got two, I've got two weeks and two nights, I suppose. So I've got 16 nights um, to to do my hobby for for this vlog. And I'm going back into this box. Is it going to focus? What do you reckon? Oh, uh, do you fancy it? No, you don't. Well, I can only promise you it's the same Mordor Orcs box. So, um, if I pop this bad boy open, we've got more metal Mordor Orcs. Um, oh, I'm still not liking it, is it? Mmm, delicious. Um, so, I painted 16 of these in the last vlog. Didn't quite get the banner finished, so the, ban the banner needs to come. And I'm going back into this now to complete my GT army. Um, I think I have to submit my list by, um, by the 11th of Feb, I think. So once I do that, there'll be no turning back. So I've got to get this done. Um, but basically what I need to paint is a captain. Um, I need to finish the banner bearer and I need to paint eight um, uh, more orc warriors. So significantly less than last time. I feel like last time I had to paint 16 and I think I started with three and a half weeks. This time I have to paint 10 in two and a bit weeks. So doable, I don't know. Um, I feel like it is doable. Um, I really, really, really wish I'd started this a few days ago, and I, I had, I was thinking like a week to assemble, prime, and base coat them, then a week to highlight half of them, and a week to highlight the other half. Uh, alas, we've lost one of those weeks, so it is going to be a bit stretched. But based on what I did in the last vlog, assuming I can, um, I can get the same kind of level of painting, then I, I think we'll be all right. But um, as ever in these vlogs, it's tight, and also. 
I think we have to say, because who doesn't like adding a bit of drama, as much as I've got 16 nights, I haven't got 16 nights, we've got quite a lot on, and just going through this, I would suggest that I know one, two, uh, definitely there, three, there's three nights where I know I can't paint. And then I would also suggest that there is actually three other nights where we've kind of got guests where I, my painting ability might be might be hampered. So actually, it's getting very, very, very tight. Um, but you know, that's what you like in these vlogs. Um, a stressed Damien desperately trying to um, get things painted. But that is the plan. I'm going to try and get um, another batch of Orc Warriors done. Um, ready to take to the GT and my GT army I think Sauron's back there somewhere I don't know where my thumb is was one I think Sauron's about there maybe um, but yeah Sauron who I painted in December and the orcs that I painted in um, January and the orcs I painted in February and actually up here I think you can see them I don't know along here my wild riders the metal wild riders I painted last June that's going to be my army so I'm really excited for the GT because my evil army is um, is all going to be models I've painted in in this journey um in the last uh six months or so which is really really cool and I can't I can't wait to get them used um I wish I could just use my evil army to be honest I just want to use Sauron on my orcs but alas I can only use that for three games and I have to take a good army and at the moment I don't know what I'm taking um I, I had planned originally to do all the four heroes on horse so that's Elendil, Gilgalad, Isildur, and um, Elrond on horse. And I was doing that because I just thought it was cool. The four of them fit the points quite well. But I haven't done Isildur and I haven't done Elrond on horse, and I'm not going to do them now. So I won't be able to do that. Um, I could take it. I could make it rubbish and have them all on foot. <laughs> I suppose I've got Elendil and Gilgalad on on horse, so I could just take Elrond on foot and Isildur on foot. But it just uh, it just doesn't appeal. That kind of all hero play doesn't appeal to me but the reason I'm thinking about those is every year since the GT returned which is about 27 2018 I've always taken thematically opposed armies I always take a pair of armies that kind of oppose each other and if you're doing the last alliance like Sauron and his orcs it has to be good last alliance so I was going to do those four heroes because I thought that'd be cool um which I can't do now I also thought about taking Riders of Aema after after the good fun I had um at uh at Throne of Skulls I, I was considering taking a Riders of Aema to um uh, a competitive event to see how they do there um, which I could do and I think I think as I said in that video I think the sweet spot for them would be 800 points so 700 points I don't know if it would be any good but I'd, I would take AMR, Gandalf and Urkenbrand and then as many riders as I could um, I think it would be better at 800 but we'll have to wait and see and then the other thing that I've um, the other thing I thought is why not just take my Battle Streams of Middle Earth Last Alliance Army which I kind of, um, you know, I, I painted up two years ago and finished painting up um, last year for Articon. Um, I've got a Last Alliance army, a more sensible army than the All Heroes. So I think, to be honest, given I took 650 points of that to Articon, I'm thinking of doing that, I think. I might just add an extra 50 points of Warriors to my Articon list and um, and go with that. And then they're, they're nice thematically um, opposed and I think they're a little more fun. It's a little more fun to fight an army than it is to fight four, four heroes, maybe. So as of right now, I don't know what my good army is, but my good army is painted. I'm certainly not going to be doing a mount painting, stress painting, mounted um, Isilda, mounted um, Elrond. Um, who knows, though? Uh, but yeah, by by the time I'm sitting in this chair again, I, I certainly will have had to make a decision because I'll have to submit my list. So um, that's kind of something to think about. But... Um, who cares about my good army? As I said, I'm, I'm less interested in that and I'm more interested in Sauron and his horde of orcs. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this hobby vlog. Uh, I'm going to be following them. Um, I'm not going to lab be labouring the process too much because um, I've gone over it in such detail in my previous vlog. So if you actually want to see the full details and colours for how I painted everything, go back and check the previous vlog. But I will be checking in at the stages. So I think um, I've now got um, a fair bit of work to do. I've got to clean the models up. Um, I've got to spray them and prime them. I've then got a big dry brushing stage, which is two metal dry brushes and then dry brushing the bases. And then I've got to base coat them and shade them. And once all that's done, uh, I think I'll then come back to see where we are in the schedule. Um, so that will hopefully be the next clip you see. They'll all be base coated, hopefully, hopefully quite soon. And then I will be saying, okay, 
Right, I'm now going to highlight five of these guys, and then I'm going to highlight another five of these guys. Um, so three clips, I hope, to um, to get finished, and, and hopefully I'll be seeing you on uh, the morning of Friday the 23rd um, with um, ten shiny orcs um, painted, including the captain and a banner bearer. God, I'm going to have to paint a red eye on that banner. That's not going to be quick. Uh, let's see if the banner gets the detail. But there we go. That's the plan for this hobby vlog. Um, I hope you like it. Um, I'm going to get stuck into these guys and paint some more Mordor orcs to bring ruin and death to the three peoples of Middle Earth. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so it is update time. Um, I think the last time I spoke to you was maybe last Wednesday, Wednesday the 7th or something like that. And I think I had two and a half weeks to the GT. Well, the good news is we've made some progress. It is now the end of Thursday the 15th. So I just finished painting for the night, Thursday the 15th. Um, so it's just over a week later. Um, last time, I don't think you even saw the models, did you? You just saw me with the models in a box. Um, but um, they were obviously unassembled. Uh, they have since been cleaned up, assembled, sand glued down, primed, dry brushed, base coated and washed. So this is exactly the stage um, we got to uh, when I first showed you before. So let's have a, let's have a little cheeky look. Um, we've got this dude here. There's some... Um, I don't think I've painted this one before. I think this guy's got a different head to the archer I painted before. There's a few that are very kind of similar. So base coats and washers chucked down. This is going to be my captain. He's an awesome model. Kind of, I'm not going to talk too much about this guy um, now. I'll do it when he's finished. But I'm very, very excited to um, get him painted at last. I've got this two-handed orc. Now this guy is... Have I done this guy? I get really confused. Because I've got two of them. I've got two of these dudes here. Now this... I think this is the same sculpt, but I haven't painted this sculpt before, maybe. I painted one very similar to this, but with a non-helmeted head. Um, but I'm now painting two of this guy because I love him so much. Um, I have definitely done this guy before. Again, um, really messy eyes at the moment. Just like in the last video, I'm going to tidy the eyes up. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, this is a sculpt, an entirely new sculpt that I hadn't painted before. Um, I hadn't done this archer at all. Is he? He shares the body of Froggy, doesn't he? Remember Froggy? Couldn't help myself from painting up a, another frog, but um, uh, but this guy is very very different. Dun, dun, dun. Um, then, like I said, the the one I really liked last time, who I, I painted to look like a frog, has been changed completely different um, uh, color system or color bits. I've done him already. This guy I'd painted before. It's cool. This time I've painted him with a with a full metal. So I painted this guy, this bit, his chin bit, as skin last time. And as I was doing it, he came out with a very pointy chin. And I actually think that's meant to be a metal face mask. So I've gone with a metal one for this time. And then finally this guy who looks very, very similar to one I painted before. Similar pose, but I think he's got a different head and a different weapon. Maybe a different shield as well. So there we go. Those are the ten guys. Um, I'm not going to talk about the colours because they are exactly the same as I did in, in the previous vlog. So if you want to, uh, if you want to know about the colours um, and how I did them all um, so far, that's detailed in depth in my my previous hobby vlog about Mordor orcs. So there's my next batch. As I said, I finished painting for the night on Thursday, uh, which means I've basically got a week. I've got a full week now to go to do the highlights. And if you were around um, last time, you'll remember that um, four, highlighting four of these guys took four hours. So I have got nine of these guys. Oh no, wait, I've got 10 of these guys because banner guys got to come back in rotation. So um, roughly they take an hour each. So it's 10 hours um, highlighting to do, uh, basically. Um, I'm gonna do them in two batches. Um, highlighting up a, a batch of, of four last time was really good. So I've got two kind of five hour um, highlighting jobs to do now. Uh, I'm gonna suggest that the night before the GT, which will be the Thursday, I'm gonna be painting rims and gluing down state grass, which means I've got seven nights. So seven nights to um, get the highlights on these done. Um, which, you know, is 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 doable. It's, it's a lot of painting, but it's, it's certainly doable. I'm not freaking out too much. And even less so because I've got something spectacularly unusual tomorrow night. 
Uh, so tomorrow night on Friday night, my kids are staying at their grandparents' house and my wife is out for the night. So it's literally just me at home with no responsibilities. So in theory, what that means is I can just paint all evening, which I'm quite up for doing, maybe having a hobby hangout with some friends, um, catch up on some audio books and just doing loads and loads of painting. And if I can do that and really break the back of this, then we'll be set up very well. So that's my plan. I'm going to take the, the green skinned guys and my, I'm going to do my banner, I think. I'm going to do the banner and the green skin guys um, and try and kind of blitz them in um, in like one evening. I don't think I will be able to, because even if I've got, as I said, I think it's going to take about four and a half hours, five hours, and I don't think I can do that in a, in a single evening. But I'm hoping to kind of really break the back of the highlights on a batch of those uh, tomorrow evening and then maybe be able to finish them, I don't know, Saturday night, Sunday night or something like that. So, so that's kind of the plan. I, I hope to come back to you by, by let's say, the end of Sunday night um, with half of these guys finished. And if that's the case, I'll then have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to do the other three, which is about an hour and a half painting every night. God, that's still quite a lot. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's not that kind of dry after all. But there we go. Uh, I'm feeling pretty positive. Um, and who knows, maybe maybe the banner will even get a design. I really can't say. Um, but we'll, we'll do our best on that. So yeah, um, that's it. I'm going to call it a night and then looking forward to a fun evening of painting tomorrow night. See you soon. Okay, so it's back and it is update time. So I said that I was hoping to be back with the first batch finished by Sunday night and the first batch are finished and it is Monday night. Um, so yeah, uh, my, my massive painting evening on Friday went pretty well. It wasn't, a, I, I got a good few hours in, maybe two hours, maybe three hours, something like that. It was pretty successful, but then the, the downside was, the problem was, my painting on Saturday and Sunday was awful, and I only managed about half an hour a night or something, so it took a bit longer, but I finished them tonight. And these five guys are now finished, obviously, except for the base rooms. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to quickly flash them up to sort of show you the finished effect, but I'll talk about them in more detail um, when they're actually properly finished, and I'll show the whole army off. But it's the same colour scheme, and I did the green one. So this was working from Lauren Forest as a base, and then doing exactly what I did on the um, on the previous models, where I um, shaded them with different colours, and then highlighted them with different colours. I think I did reset uh, Lauren Forest as the base on all of them, but you can hopefully see that this dude has ended up with a kind of far... Um, almost darker bluer green on the right to this kind of pale green over here but, um, pretty heavy classic frog helmet dude I tried to make his shield a bit red and then this guy who um, as I think I mentioned now gets a metal chin which I think is what's going to be doing whereas my old orc has a big green pointy chin pretty cool and this guy you not sure no, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm very, very happy with them. I'm pretty pleased. But for some reason, I don't think they're as good as my last batch. I can't quite put my finger on it. It's the same, exactly the same process, exactly the same colour schemes, but they don't, um, they haven't quite come out as well, possibly. Or maybe it's just they don't look as good because the rooms aren't done. And finally, I got the banner guy finished. And... Oh, yeah! Even got a, um, even got a design on it. So I went for the red eye sour on. Um... I know, I know the red eye is only a kind of third age thing, so it shouldn't really be in a Barad-Dor army, but I think it will probably end up being used as a Mordor banner more than a kind of Barad-Dor banner over the years, so I just don't care, frankly. But pretty pleased with how he came out. This, is, of course, is the guy who was left over from the last vlog. He was meant to be painted in January, but he is now finished. Pretty pleased with that, and I just did it with... I painted the banner itself, the black banner, the same as I've done all my black stuff, and then I painted this with scab, red, and... No, it wasn't scab, red. It wasn't those two. That's not true. It was these two I think I think I use these two I think I use corn red and Mephiston red and I think I did a corn red base which is the kind of darker one and then went over it with Mephiston red to kind of brighten it up and then I actually went back over it with corn red to kind of dull it down a bit more um, to make it look a little more natural and I'm really actually pleased with the colour scheme and I'm really pleased with the design it wasn't nearly as painful as I thought it might be so yeah there we go five done uh, it's Monday night, and we, we're only part way through Monday night. I've got a bit of painting time today, but it means I'm about... I kind of want to celebrate the fact I've just finished these, but I can't celebrate that because I have to plunge into the next set, which is, I'm not going to lie, quite annoying. So um, I've got a plunge on, and I've now got a bit of this evening and the next two evenings, Tuesday and Wednesday, to finish the next batch to leave me um, until Wednesday, leave me Wednesday night to do the rims, which feels like quite a stretch, if I'm honest. But, um, but we'll see. 
so yeah, I will come back. Hopefully in the next clip, um, they'll all be completely finished. I, I hope to be recording a clip on a sort of Thursday night when I've done all the rooms and glued down the state of grass and they're all finished, ready to go to the GT. But we'll see. So yeah, another few evenings of, um, of work ahead and then we can, um, we can relax and enjoy the uh, event, hopefully. Onwards! All right, so it is Thursday night and I am delighted to say they are done. So uh, let's just start with the ones you've seen before that are now fully finished with their base rooms and all that. But um, yeah, here's our banner bearer looking very, very cool. And then, um, as I said, the first batch, which are the green skin guys who do. It's remarkable um, in the last clip you saw them without their rims done, but um, even just painting their rims um, makes such a difference to how well they read. This guy's good. Please know how he turned out. And then that leaves the other five that I hadn't done. And so we'll start with our captain. So here is our captain. And I'm really quite pleased with this guy. Pleased with how he came out with his little um his little teeth in his mouth and stuff. Um some nice red robes and some scale mail. He's a cool figure. Um, he's actually not coming to the GT with me, um, so tragically, I'm taking I'm taking Sauron on the Taskmaster rather than um, the Captain, so he won't get his chance to shine. But but one day he will. I imagine he'll turn up in SPG issue 16. And I've got another one. This sculpt, painted green, lovely little model. And possibly my favourite one gets another. Version. I think my first one of this guy is green skin, so very, very different skin tones there. The frog! You know, it's deliberately not a frog, he's not painted green like the last one was, to, and hopefully that kind of differentiates him away from that. And then finally, um, this last archer who hadn't painted before. A very, very super cool model. So there we go, 10 more Metal Orcs done and ready, and I am super, super excited. And not only that, I've decided what my good force is going to be, and I'm going to take the Army of the Last Alliance. That's what I plumped for. Um, I think I think at the start of this vlog I was debating between like all Heroes of the Last Alliance, Riders of Aemar, or um, a standard Last Alliance army, and I've decided to go for a standard Last Alliance army. So I've dug out my, um, my Gilgalad on horse, um, remember, this is still just base coats and shading, really. And um, he 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 wasn't finished before Articon in time, and he ain't going to get finished this time. But I've dug him out, and I've dug out um, Elendil as well on the horse. Who I think uh, was he finished? I truly can't remember. He, he's certainly further along. So yeah, I've got those, and then I'm just going to take a bunch of elves and Numenor. So it'll be super super fun to have these guys kind of. You know, there's some nice thematic enemies, and we can. Sort of, you know, I can picture. It. Who knows if I'll get the these kind of matchups? But I'll be able to, um, like, kind of swamp these guys with the with the Mordor orcs and ha have them sort of um, being attacked and all that sort of stuff, which will be which will be quite good fun throughout the uh, throughout the course of the weekend. Oh, I think it's a little unclear. I'll just um, I'll just sort of split this off as I've always been able to. Um, but there we go. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, the Orcs are finished and I will be um, heading up to the GT now. So all that remains is to head over to the chair and sign off this vlog. So there we go. The Mordor Orcs are finished and we are ready to head off for glory at the GT. Um, Really happy with them. Got to say, I'm, I'm really uh, delighted of how that that project's come out over the first two um, first two weeks. I've now got um, I've now got 26 Mordor Orcs um, metal, lovely Mordor Orcs painted up, and that's a really encouraging um, start to the hobby year for me. So yeah, I'm very very pleased with that. Um, I've got more. I think I've got about 42 in total, um, but that's that's going to be that for now. Um, the the Mordor Orc project ends here. Um, I, I don't. I, I would be quite up for painting some more. Um, sort of striking while the iron's hot, um, essentially, but um, I've got to move on to other things, unfortunately. So yeah, no more Mordor Orcs, but maybe, maybe, maybe around this time next year I might be returning to them for some other stuff. Um, but yeah, absolutely delighted for how they came out, really pleased with them, and it's a nice new force to get going. I can't wait to see how um, my Sauron that I painted in December, my Taskmaster that I painted in December, and my Wild Riders that I painted about last June or something, all get on in their first, with my new Mordor Orcs, all get on in their first tournament. I'm really, really excited to kind of use that kind of newly painted up army um, for the first time. So can't wait to get stuck into that. And then um, 
you know, use Lions. I, I really couldn't care less about the last Alliance, to be honest. I'd, I'd really like to play six games with Sauron and the Orcs, but um, such is the GT. But it'll be fun. Um, so yeah, that'll be that'll be that'll be the plan. And I will return in my next vlog. I'm going to do a tournament review. Um, in this time last year, or or throughout last year, I had to kind of conflate the two and do tournament reviews with the hobby vlogs because um, I fell so far behind on on my editing. But um, this time I'm going to keep them separate. You're going to have a kind of decent chunky hobby vlog here. Then there's a separate video for the next hobby vlog that will just be a review of my exploits at the GT and letting you know how I got on with those. So that that should hopefully be out um, fairly soon as well before returning to March's hobby. And talking of monthly hobby, I now need to give you an update on my progress because despite the fact that uh, the GT is the uh, 24th and 25th of February, I'm not going to have painted any more new models before the end of February. So I'm happy to kind of sign off February here. And it is just those models. So it is eight orcs, an orc banner bearer and a captain. So 10 models painted in February. I didn't buy any models and I didn't sell any models. So pretty positive numbers. And that gives me totals of bought 27 models for the year and painted 28 models for the year. Woo woo, we're in the black. Um, so that's that's really, really encouraging. And again, and I need to caveat this until I flip these numbers, remember that 23 of those models I've bought are the Army of the Dead, the plastic translucent Army of the Dead, which will be kind of converted to painted models as and when I, as and when, um, I get to them. So in real numbers... Um, it's actually um, four models bought and 28 painted, um, which is which is really really encouraging. So I'm really happy. Another very very positive month of painting for me. Um, getting you know 10 models painted in a month it is good uh, at my rate. So really really delighted with that and another successful month of hobby. So. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, if you uh, are new here, please, please, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. Tell me what you liked about this vlog and what you didn't like about this vlog. Um, my my last vlog that's been uploaded has been st st struck by YouTube for a copyright claim, which is absolutely nonsense. It's to do with the hum at the um, at the start of the of the logo at the as well. Someone's done me for copyright on that, presumably because they've also used the same sound effect in theirs. It's nonsense, so that hobby vlog will hopefully be back, but loads and loads of people left comments on it before um, it got struck down, so I'm really, really annoyed about it. So hopefully that one will be back soon. Um, but yeah, leave a comment down there. Um, consider joining our Patreon scheme. Use our link with 7 City if you want to pick up some um, cheap goodies and help out the channel at the same time. And um, other than that, we will see you soon on Battle Streams of Middle Earth. Either in my next hobby vlog here, we'll be talking about the GT, or on our latest live stream, which you can um, check out and find a, um, if you if you join our uh, social media pages, the Battle Streams Facebook page. Um, we'll post about whenever the next one's going to be on there. But other than that, um, hope everyone's well. Happy February, and we'll see you all very soon. Thank you.